Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Australia have beaten Wales in the second test of the series to complete a 2-0 whitewash. And uh, a very interesting game. Warren Gatton, I think, will be absolutely seething because that game was there for the taking. It was there for Wales to win. And had it not been for some really, really bad areas, some really unfortunate bounces of the rugby ball, as well as some, you know, some, some very nice uh, clinical play by the, the Wallabies, Wales should have snapped that losing streak that they had. Um, but a bit of a weird game. Uh, sort of ebbed and flowed, and kind of was never really, um, you know, over and done with. You know, kind of hung in the balance for a lot of the game, which made it quite exciting to watch. Um, before you sort of break it down, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, horrible start from the Wales. Perfect start from uh, Australia, who raced to a 17-0 lead after 25 minutes. Uh, phenomenal try. Uh, probably try of the sort of international period so far um, in Filippo Dagonu. Uh, incredible scenes, really. Wales putting pressure on on on, uh, on, on uh, Australia. A, a loose pass went behind. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, uh, Kellaway's got the ball basically a meter in front of his try line, looking at options. Bang, steps inside of one, chips over the top, ball over the top, he chases it. It bounced up nicely for him. Throws it back inside to Fraser McRight. He doesn't have the pace to go all the way, but Philippe Dagano was there to uh, complete the try and literally going 100 meters and scoring that try. Perfect way to get going. And then um, another penalty. So all of a sudden, uh, 10 points to nil. And then a very fortuitous try for Jake Gordon. Um, a very nice kick from him over the top there. Not dealt with at all by Cameron Winnett, um, who lost the ball forward. Then the ball taking a ricochet off a leg. All of a sudden, um, bouncing up in front of Jake Gordon, who was in and around and sniffing for a chance. Nobody in front of him, and he stepped back inside. Showed some good turn of pace, as well as nerve to finish. And all of a sudden, they were 17-0 down. And, you know, you felt they hadn't even played badly. You know, they'd actually had quite a nice a couple of opportunities, but uh, were nowhere in the game. They then finally got a, a, a penalty and got themselves within sort of the 22 meters. Um, massive morsel, Dewey Lake over his first. We saw another one for him about uh, eight minutes later. Um, but uh, for Australia, I think for Wales, with those two penalties, when you think that they lost by eight points, those two penalties cost six points off the kickoff. Uh, it was like a script, really. Australia would kick off, Fraser McGrath would get there, get straight over the ball, penalty, take the three. Wales then scored through Dewey Lake, bang, take the three, straight off the kickoff once again. So, you know, Wales scoring 14 points but conceding six. You know, it was such a difficult one thing for them to kind of continue to always try and catching up despite, you know, not being a, not, um, uh, conceding that much, really, it was uh, from a try perspective up until um, that that they're going to try, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but you know, at half time, 50 points to 14, you know, it kind of felt like if Wales were to score first, they'll be in the game. They did score first. Liam Williams went over in the 46th minute. Gareth Thomas, um, sorry, um, Ben Thomas adding the extras in the 48th minute. 23 21, two point game. And you're going, right, this is potentially it. Um, but a big moment in the game was that Al Alto try in the 53rd minute to make it 28-21. And then uh, Chase and Colby reincarnate, really. They're going to go th through for a second as uh, Lolesio went for the touch. Liam Williams leapt up in the air, knocked it back inside towards his teammate. But instead, there was a trundling uh, Philippa Dagano who got in front, grabbed the ball on without a bounce, basically. It was almost like scripted. Ball back inside from Williams, straight into the hands of Dagano who then ran it in to make it 33 points to 21. A glimmer of hope with a great individual try from Rio Dyer down the left-hand side, made about 50 meters almost, um, you know, bumping off the Alessio in, in the contact, going over Castillo with a nice kick to make it five points, and uh, exciting last 10 minutes before uh, eventually Donaldson found a penalty in the 77th minute to make it 36 points to 28. Uh, Wales never led throughout the entire game, but uh, we're in the game for a lot of it, which was which was very interesting. If we look at the average point score, 2.3 from Wales, they managed 12 entries. Australia, 4.2 points scored per entry. To the, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a, 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 a such a high ratio of points to, um, to, to, to entries ratio, so just seven entries, uh, which shows you how much that uh, they didn't necessarily dominate inside the 22. And yet, uh, you know, look at the scoreline. So if you look at some of the stats, for example, tells you an interesting story. Uh, possession, 50-50. Territory, however, Wales was 60%. Um, if we look at uh, the set plays, for example, scrums of Australia, 100% win, but uh, Wales did have a couple of really nice scrums and a couple of scrum penalties. I think Archie Griffin made a massive improvement uh, to that Welsh scrum. If you look at the lineups, 82% from Australia, 75%. They were quite messy at times for both sides. 
Uh, if you look at the attack, for example, Australia with more post-contact meters, fewer carries, uh, fewer uh, passes, um, but more line breaks as well. Turnovers are pretty even, to be fair, 5-3 to three, um, in terms of one. Penalties conceded, whilst discipline not good enough. I think a more disciplined performance, I think they win that game. 12 penalties conceded, some really, really poor ones. So many points off the boot, especially inside their own half, conceding sloppy penalties. The yellow card to Australia as well. Um, eight penalties conceded by them. If you look at defensively, I thought both teams were pretty solid, to be fair. 128 tackles made by Australia, 147 by Wales, 92%, 93%. Uh, Australia kicked a little bit more from Wales. It wasn't that much kicking in the game, actually. 29 to 2, 23. Um, fewer, for example, than the Australia and England game. If we look at the carries, Filippo Dagano with 15, Drew Lake with 12. Chase both of them, I thought, was really, really good. Tried really hard. 11 carries. If you look at the line breaks, Liam Williams with two. Uh, tackles completed, for example, the big grafters, Tommy Rafael with 19, Gareth Thomas with 17, Daft Jenkins with 15. Um, so some very good defensive efforts there from the Welsh. Very Watton Gatlin type performance, you know, defensively very strong. But I do think genuinely on attack, they are looking um, a lot better. I think Ben Thomas looked like a nice player for them. Um, let's talk about Australia, shall we? It's an interesting, uh, uh, it's an interesting result for Australia because, as I said, I don't feel they played that well because they didn't have they had position and some of the tries they scored were really good but they kind of just capitalized the mistakes from wales so wales could give them a chance and then bang so i think that accuracy you know that every single time you get a chance you're putting it away that makes you an incredibly dangerous team and i think that's a massive positive that the wallabies will take from that they won't look at that game and say you know we dominated and we were free flowing and we we're over the game line but they had some nice physicality at times and uh, the main thing i think for them is they took their chances so, so well, which stands in a good set moving forward. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.